Now to this, a supermarket sweep, a Sacramento City Council member, now the subject of a federal criminal investigation over how he's running his businesses. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at City Hall with us with the federal raid exposing the big trouble, Steve. Yeah, we're talking about council member Sean Laloe, who's been at the center of controversy before, and he's defended himself before. Tonight, though, he is not commenting about the federal agents inside his businesses. Ooh, boxes, boxes on boxes. Cell phone video shows federal agents yeah, inside one of Sacramento right council member Sean Laloe's Viva Supermarkets, okay. Homeland Security, IRS criminal investigators and California State Department of Justice agents all on the scene gathering evidence. There was officers at each of the registers and they were taking the cash drawers out. They were having boxes, just uh, putting stuff together. Angela Grijalva recorded the raid on her cell phone, yeah. the daughter of a labor organizer. She's followed the federal lawsuit against Lilloe, alleging forced labor at his businesses and threats to employees cooperating with investigators. I'm a critic of anyone who exploits our, our community. And then all of a sudden you get criminal search warrants. Criminal search warrants. Those are only issued when a magistrate has seen that there's probable cause of a crime being committed. Legal expert Mark Reichel says the raid is a sign of trouble for Lilloe's legal team. How seriously does the federal government take this type of alleged crime? Well, actually, this is one of the most serious federal crimes there is. And the sentences can be astronomical. No one answered the door at Lilloe's home in his district or at his wife's home in Granite Bay. Last year, a city investigation cleared the council member against allegations he was not residing in his own district. He spoke to CBS 13 then. People that know me, uh, they also know that um, I don't get intimidated that easily. The council member's office issued a statement in response to the federal raid, calling it a personal matter related to the council member's businesses not connected to his work at City Hall. Go down there. Now the personal matter of this public leader is drawing City Hall scrutiny. And tonight, the Sacramento Central Labor Council wrote a full letter to the full city council demanding that Sean Lilloe step down. Currently, he has another year left of service.